Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create paperclip bookmarks. For my sample, I used the new Spellbinders dress form dies that you can get from Crafters Home Stores. Label 23, the grand label nestability, but that's just for my box. The video is for these cute bookmarks. You can use them as a bookmark, you can use them to dress them up, gift ideas or cards, it's really up to you. And you can even put a magnet on there and make it as a magnet clipboard uh, for your fridge. To begin with, you will need dies of your choice. You can use flower dies, whatever. If you're using nestability dies, use, um, I use thin coasters to cut <coughs> my base. And then you can either paint the base or dress them up. Or what I will do is I cut another dress the same size with the same die in pattern paper. And now I'm going to dis I'm going to distress it a little bit before I adhere it to my coaster piece, my chipboard piece. I like to do that to my um, pattern paper to give it a little bit more aged vintage look. And it's just a sanding block. And then I will sponge some ink over it. And I'm using vintage photo distressing. That's optional. You can dress up your pa uh, your chipboard piece any way you want. And then I will run this through my siren machine to get a complete cover, adhesive cover. You can also use any of your favorite adhesive. Just love how fast and easy this is. and then adhere it over your chipboard base. There. Now I'm going to sponge the edges so it doesn't look so white. As well as a little bit in the back because I'm going to adhere my front and back of the dress together with dimensionals. Since there will be that paper clip in between and there that creates a little space. Okay. Then I already dis I already decorated my front and because I have a little ribbon here, I will add some on the back as well. Just going to add some adhesive so the ends of the ribbon will stick. And since the bow is in the front, I just have to tape it across. There. Now I turn my front, well, let's turn the back around because it's flat and easier to do. And you will need some strong adhesive. I like to use glossy accent. It takes a while to dry, but it will hold your um, paper clip real well. Now I have these jumbo paper clips and I found them at Walmart. You can use smaller ones, then you'll just have to um, resize the die you use accordingly. Use a smaller die if you're using smaller paper clips. And I'm just going to add glossy accent all the way around so it will stick. So my two paper my two dress forms will stick together. I'm adding dimensional adhesive. Not too close, so that's not the first thing you see when you look in between. 
and then you just have to adhere them together. And I would set this aside for like half an hour till the glue is dry. For my sample I made three different ones and put and I didn't want to just show them to you like that so I made a little box and all I did is um, I think it measures three quarter inch wide and on the top I cut three holes, I'll show you in a second. And you just, right now you just have to line them up. Press them together and let it dry and your paper clip is done. You can see the little holes I cut to make the stand. And I wanted a backdrop and I thought the label 23 Grand Estability would make a great one. I hope you try it out. There are lots of possibilities for this project. See you next time.